Hey, it's me, Kellyanne, and welcome to RPK and Merry Christmas! We have a lot to do today, and I'm so glad you're here because it's the last week of our pajama party, and we get to celebrate Christmas today, guys. I'm so excited. Whew. All month long, we've been learning the story of Christmas. Now, can you help me remember what we've been learning? We've been learning a bottom line. Why is Jesus special? That's right, because Jesus is God's son. All month long, we've been learning about this true Christmas story. We heard about the angel that came to Mary and told her that she was gonna have a baby. Yes, baby Jesus. It's his birthday that we're celebrating. And then we learned how Mary and Joseph traveled all the way to Bethlehem. Ah, and then there was no room for them. But then that didn't matter because Jesus was born and we heard about what happened next was this the shepherds they were so excited to see Jesus that they ran now today we're gonna learn about a star hmm I wonder what this star has to do with the Jesus story why don't we go to the clubhouse and do the three things we do every week and I'll be back afterwards to pray so we're gonna go do our Bible verse we're gonna sing and worship and we're gonna hear about what this star has to do with the true story of Christmas. I'll see you in a few, friends. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, John 3, 16. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, John 3, 16.
know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you. Oh, hey friends, it's me, Poppy. Welcome to our Christmas pajama party. I was just filling up these gift bags we'll give to our friends at the party. They'll each get an angel ornament to remind them how an angel came and told Mary the big news she was going to have God's son. And they'll each get a cow to remind them how Jesus was born in a stable near animals. And sheep stickers to remind them how the shepherds ran to meet the best gift ever, Jesus. Who? Who? It's Ellie. Hello, Poppy. Who? Who? Are those gift bags in front of you? Hi, Ollie. They sure are. There's just one more thing to put inside. A star. I know a story about a star. And three wise men who traveled so far. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Merry Christmas, friends! I'm just in the mailman. I'm just on my way to celebrate with my neighbors. Christmas is a very special day because we're celebrating someone very special. Does anyone remember who we celebrate on Christmas? Yes, Jesus! Jesus is special because Jesus is God's son. Now, there's one more part of the true story of Christmas you've got to know. Let me just put our story mail in the mailbox and... Okay, so this part of the true story of Christmas happened after Jesus was born. After Jesus was born, God put something in the sky. Did God put a teddy bear in the sky? No, that isn't right. God put a popsicle in the sky? No, God put a star in the sky. Yes, a star. Can you make a twinkly star with your hand like this? Great job. Far, far away, there were some wise men who saw it. Can you make your hand like a telescope and look at the star high in the sky? Okay, you can put your telescopes away now. They knew the star meant something special. God put the star there because God's son, Jesus, was born. They were so excited. We've got to follow it, they said. We must go and find God's son. They followed the star and probably rode on an animal. What animal would be able to walk through the desert with lots and lots of sand? Let's see. Camels! The wise men got on the camels and set out to follow the star. Finally, the star led them to... Jesus! When the wise men saw Jesus, they bowed down and worshipped him. They gave him presents because they knew Jesus was very special. And we know Jesus is special because Jesus is God's son. We can remember how special Jesus is every day. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me. Why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Merry Christmas. So there's your story, and it's all true. The wise men worshiped Jesus, 
And we can too! Thanks, Ollie! Goodbye to you! Hoo! Hoo! Wow! The wise men followed a star and celebrated Jesus! I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it! Get it? Got it! Good! I'm going to finish these party favors. But first, let's sing happy birthday to celebrate Jesus and his birthday! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Jesus! Happy birthday to you! See you guys next time! Bye! <gasps> that was in. Red ball. Okay, do you remember what the story was about? That is right, the wise men. The wise men knew that God was gonna send someone very special and they wanted to see him. So one night, while those wise men, they waited and waited and they saw a very special star. That's right, they saw a star in the sky. And when they saw that very special star, they knew, they knew they needed to follow it. When the wise men saw Jesus, they knew who he was. He was a very special person. He was the very special person they were looking for. And they knew that God sent Jesus to us to show us how much he loves everyone. And then the, the wise men, they bowed down and they worshiped Jesus. They gave him their very best gifts and they celebrated Jesus. This is such an awesome part of our Christmas story because the wise men knew that Jesus was God's son. And we know that God gave us Jesus because he loves us so much. <sighs> Friends, I have loved learning all about Christmas together, the real true meaning of how God sent his son for us. So Merry Christmas, happy birthday Jesus, and let's pray together. <sighs> God, thank you. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for knowing that we needed him. Thank you for sending him. And God, thank you that we have your Bible, that we get to read about the story of how you brought him here, from the angels that you sent, to the shepherds that you called, to the wise men who came. Lord, help us to come with the same heart, to come to you, to lay down our greatest gifts of praise and worship to you, and to recognize that Jesus is special and that you sending him here was for me, was for all the kids of RPK, and was for everyone, so that we would know just how much you love us. In your name, amen. That was awesome, guys. Thank you for being here with us all month long and being such great listeners. Merry Christmas. I'll see you guys soon. <laughs>